Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Land Down Under 2022. My name is Jake, and I'm joined by Big Fella Goose. How are we doing, mate? Very, very well. It is so good to be back here after almost two and a half years in the making, back home in the heart of Melbourne at Genesis Internet Cafe. Yeah. We're about to go live. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. About to go live casting at Salt Free versus Ego Mafia. Just before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to Marketplace.tf. Launched in 2013, the longest running Steam trading marketplace, supporting not only TF2, Dota 2, and Steam trading. 100% community focused, fully fraud protected. It is the best place to securely buy TF2 items. Also, massive thank you to the GIC Sports Arena. All right. Uh, going into this game, we have uh, Ego Mafia with Scouts Centaur and Von. Pocket, we have Bird. And on Roma, we have Triss. Demo Man, it was dubious. We got Max standing in. And we have Loxy playing Medic. Very, very good roster there. Solid stuff. On the side of Salt Free Gaming, we have on Scouts, we got Avo and Wigan. On Pocket Soldier, we got Zildjian. On Roma, we have Scads. Demo will be Catfish and Medic will be Snazzy. So, you know, pretty standard. Um, it's a very vintage roster, that one. You know, these, these guys have had their roles for quite some time. So it should be a pretty interesting matchup, man. Absolutely. And uh, odd players on, on both sides of the table, really. I mean, you have people like Bird and Triss who not traditionally Sixers players playing more Highlander. Yeah. I think we might actually see Bird playing some per Perma Pyro, depending on how she's feeling. Should be getting underway pretty soon. Uh, players just getting in the server now, yeah. sorting it out. And it Map looks one. like we are live with the group stage of the LAN down under 2022, ladies and gentlemen. I believe we have a rocket jumper soldier on the side of Skaz here on Salt Free Gaming. And he's gone straight into the um, into the Eagle Mafia's cafe. Super interesting. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, it's it, they're not live. What's... Oh, they're live. Okay, oh, they're but live? Everyone, everyone, right. everyone's just panning. Okay, so we're having a bit of fun here with this. Catfish on the sticky jumper. I'm not really sure what to make of this, man. <laughs> no, absolutely. I think uh, it may have been a pre-arranged thing before the game started. Maybe they're deciding for, for mid-fight. I, I don't know. Maybe they're swapping sides. Not really too sure. First mid-fight does go in the way of blue. Quite convincingly salt-free picking that up. Ella does switch actually over to the sticky bomb launcher. So it seems like after this they're going to... Uh, <laughs> to swap over and yeah. start playing. I don't, I don't know what I, to say, man. I guess, or the game continues to run, so we've got Catfish forwarding through the second point here. Um, it, everyone's going to be uh, perched up on the porch here, and Centaur's going to be going down to Avo. They're going to be, Blue Team going to be getting really aggressive into this lobby. Ooh, but Zildjian, he's going to be going down as a, a nice uh, sticky placement by Ella. So... I, I don't know, it's sort of going back and forth a little bit. And <laughs> yeah, very interesting pushing into last when you got a soldier on the sticky jumper and a demo man using the sticky bomb, sticky jumper as well. Although, Bird's officially switched over to Pyro, trying to get the players off the point, and they're just falling. I don't think they're doing any damage down a soldier and a demo, really. Catfish is in, pretty hot here, but... Oh, and he manages to get out! <laughs> he what just serves clear. He's back in. And he's, he's back, back in. in. Centaur takes him down easily. <laughs> Wigan though, look how close the point is. Might try and cap it under. Bird catches him out. Never nah. misses a flare. Never not, misses a flare. Not going to be any luck with Bird on the pyro there. They're going to be making their way out now um, on the side of uh, E Girl Gamers. They are going to be capping this um, second point here. Capping it back, I should say. Um, Zildjian's hanging pretty close. He just spotted the pyro going through cafes. The scout's getting a little bit aggressive, and the pyro is going to be in on. Um, on, on the side of mid there, but the <laughs> catfish taken down Vaughn with a Amelia sticky trap. Traps. Skaz jumps in, tries to force the medic. Red does pop a little bit earlier. Blue manages to force. Should be pretty even fight, although red players are falling here. Yeah, so oh, Bird's going to be going. It hits the flare and the, um, with, the, with the flame. It was a crit there. I'm not sure if it was enough to take down the medic. Um, yeah, it, it was. Um, now Triss is just going to be cleaning everything up. Coming a huge three kills. I mean, look at that. It's going to be 40-50 Uber ad for red. They could actually push this into into last, depending on how quickly they come up. Don't manage to cap the point in time, so blue is going to have forward spawns for the next point. Might just choose to take a to, to build and see if they can get that Uber ad as quick as possible. 
Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Um, lo looks like the game's sort of gone back to more textbook TF2 now, <laughs> yeah. which is good considering the um, a very unconventional start to the game. But look, look at this. Ella's going to be going in. Manages to pick up Wigan. So and much damage. Aggressive, aggressive pipes. Looks like Salt Free is out of their second. They're not going to be able to hold this, Jake. And now um, they're just back at last building Uber, yeah. hoping they can hold on to this. And look at that 30% Uber difference between the two teams. I think if Red realizes Eagle Mafia comes in quick enough, they might be able to take this. Oh, Triss comes in. Well, oh, Zildjian. Oh, he spots the pyro. Oh, no, you can't shoot those. Otherwise, they're going to reflect straight back, especially if that player is a pyro, mate, which I'm pretty oh, sure they are. Absolutely. <laughs> I, would not be, I would not be shooting any projectiles at Bird. I don't know how Ping usually is at home. Red's coming in the top. They're just kind of posturing. So much pressure on the point. Ubers have only just been popped. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a standard exchange. They tried to force that Uber out, but... Oh! Looks like it's not going to be enough. And um, the first round goes to E-Girl. Yeah, I think their bird managed to pick up two kills with a reflect rocket. They got to be able to deal with her or else that's going to continue to be a problem. Once they were on the point, bird just kept air blasting them off. They couldn't actually get back onto cap. It's pretty rough stuff. Looks like Catfish here, he's rolling, f uh, opting for the valley rollout. So I'm, I'm keen to see what he can make of this. Vaughn does spot him, but not to worry. Salt Free is going in and giving them the support that um, giving Catfish the support he needs. Soldier up on the belt. Oh, and what a bloody shot from Bird onto Skaz. Does this Pyro ever miss a flare? No, I don't think. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Avo dropping really low. So convincingly does the, the mid fight go to Ego Mafia. You know, you think they'd struggle more with the Pyro on these mid fights, thinking, you know, you can't really do that much damage unless you're hitting flares or anything like that. But it seems like denying all that spare da spam damage is just doing so much work for them. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I was expecting the same thing, you know. I, th I thought they were just going to get shut straight down with the two scouts, but the, the pyro is really proving to be of uh, a great help on the side of E-Girl here. Now, we've got an interesting sort of situation. Um, it looks like E-Girl are, uh, again, going to be sort of rolling through, trying to take this second point. You've got some players lurking behind, but um, not much has really come of that just yet. Avo will take down two players there and um yeah this is just a, a couple of trades here yeah it's really interesting they seem to have all pushed up into lobby and got almost overzealous they were they had players in lobby i think two or three at one point but had no pressure on the point and it just meant the blue could come in with the faster spawns straight away well Look looks like scouts will take down bird bit of a surprise not enough uh, reaction time to sort of predict the reflect with that unfortunately <laughs> absolutely <laughs> the bullets get a bit more difficult 50 percent uber at it coming out for Salt free, taking mid, not too much fighting. Skaz bombing high, Ooh. so much damage. Oh my gosh. Woxie does go down. That's going to be full Uber ad for Salt free. So, so now, now, if you're Salt free, this is the position you're going to want to be in. You're sort of forcing the opponent to take a step back. Yeah, the Pyro and the Demo are there, but they're not going to be able to. They, they, there's no hit scan. Oh, and the Uber does come out. They've popped a lot of Avo here. So far, I'm really loving what this guy's doing here. He's, he's getting lots and lots of cleanup kills. But um, it, it didn't seem uh, that effective of an Uber, yeah, unfortunately. Ab absolutely. I think if you're if you're Eagle Mafia there, you're quite happy with that. They do manage to pop Uber. Coming straight into last, deciding not to take the even fight and just fight with player ad. Yeah, no. So Zildjian's going to be going in here. Catfish and Zildjian both picking up two plays. Oh, but Ella, two direct pipes. Going to be taking down Catfish. That is a huge loss for them. And now it's going to be interesting to see if Abo is going to try and... Um, get in for the late fight. Zildjian's on the point and he manages to get the job done. Doesn't even need him. 1-1. One, one. Really excellent work from Zildjian there. I think he was just doing so much damage. Taking a lot of beams, sure, but the amount of damage he was doing, space he was creating, knocking people off the point. Did a really good job there managing to secure that. So now I'm keen to see what the soldiers are going to do this time. Skaz, he's going... Ooh, nice hit, fast rollout straight into the cafe. I think he did that the first round. Um, so, oh, he's actually going behind the, the point here. There. Yeah, no, they don't know. He's going to be in in a minute. He's, oh, yeah, he's onto the medic. Doesn't really get too much with it, but um, he, he does create some space for the team. Zildjian's going to be going in, but he's really low. Manages to take down Bird on Pyro. The demo and um, scout are in from off, off the side of E-Girl, and uh, a couple of trades, but um, it looks like Salt Free comes out on top this time. 
Yeah, look, that it was it was well fought, but I think with this kind of composition, when you do have the pyro, you got to play with your combo really, really close together, really tight. Because you don't have that extra soldier to do a lot of damage, you kind of have to play this death ball style and use the pyro to really keep a lot of the extra splash and projectiles off your med. Yeah, absolutely, man. Now, Salt Free is up. The Medic did die, so that means th there's going to be a small, small advantage on the side of um, Ego here. But the thing is, Salt Free, they've got that position ad, so I don't think the um, Uber ad's going to be too much. And Abo, he's straight in, does get taken down by Ella. Very lovely pipe so far. Skaz is going to be in and then out straight away, and it looks like a reset. Yeah, I think uh, they had a had a good idea. They're trying to get in, see if they could get any picks, catch anyone out. The Ubers are even, so trading a player one for one is fine. This Uber ad's actually turning out to be more uh, better for Ego and Mafia. Look, they're building this really quickly. I don't think they'll use it to push back in. It's kind of risky with how close it is, uh, and and it's likely I don't realize. Oh, oh but it's crits. Oh, oh Man, my god. Take down one. Doesn't get too much with it. Um, yeah, look, Catfish, he, he's dealing out some hurt there. But a, again, it, it seems to be pretty... Well, with, with Catfish and Snazzy down, um, Ego will be able to push forward here. And the rest of Salt Free is just collapsing. Yeah, that's so interesting. I didn't realize it was crits, but they popped it, managed to drop Snazzy, and then kind of just took a dry fight, just soap DM, and, uh, and actually came <laughs> out on top. I guess when they were all trying to push through Cafe, Bird was probably just dying so much that uh, they couldn't really get that much damage on them. And, you know, now we're, now we're back to where we were before. We've got um, E-Girl e Mafia. They're, they're sort of building Uber. There's a, a significant advantage here. So, you know, are, are they going to try and convert this into a round straight away? I'm not sure. Centaur Sent and Snazzy will be in. trading. Um, and, and, yeah, that's it, it's looked like they've sort of lost a few players and now they're going to have to sort of back out. Yeah, really interesting. Centaur just managed to wiggle in and pick up the med. It's going to be full crit sad. I'd be very confused uh, if, if Salt Free does try and keep pushing into them. They probably don't realize it's crit. Maybe that's why Ella's loading up. Crit is popped, shooting out onto the point. Manages to pick up one on Avo. Bird takes down Skaz as well with a flare. Should be pretty convincing for them. And by the time the med actually spawns, Snazzy isn't even, even healing at the moment. It's still going to be crit sad for, uh, for Ego Mafia. Yeah, so, but the, the, the question is now... You, the, the problem with crits is like you need to just find that perfect moment. It doesn't matter if it builds fast because if, if you could spend a whole minute sort of messing around trying to find that opening to shoot that one sticky that's going to get like three players and you know by the time you do that they could have built Uber up. So yeah exactly and I guess the, the element of surprise is such a big thing as well. They do know they're on crits so it's much uh, less likely to be interesting. Big shot from Triss, doesn't manage to pick it up. Zildjian going very low. And I do notice that Wigan has actually uh, walked up on Sniper. Probably hoping that they're um, they're going to try and walk in, posture a bit, and then shoot some crit stickies. Hoping to catch out the demo, or maybe even the med if they're lucky. Yeah, look, Zildjian's his sort of perching here. I don't know why he keeps trying to shoot rockets <laughs> at that pyro. I would not even attempt that, but I, I, I respect his bravery look, there. <laughs> very brave. <laughs> very brave. Yeah. Crits is popped. They're coming on the high ground. Don't manage to find anything at the start. Centaur and Bird both falling. Big bomb. Ooh. Huge damage from Zildjian. Massive bomb. And look at that. It's just Triss left alive. They're going to end up with 20% Uberad. I wonder now, is uh, is Woxie going to switch back to um, to Crits or Uber, you think? I, I don't know. I, th I think they're... I have a feeling, just curse of the cast of prediction, they're going to maybe try run it one more time to see how it goes. But, um, and judging by the amount of time it built, it looks like it yeah, would yeah. be at Uber <laughs> or crits. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, you know, so we, we've sort of just got, um, you know, salt free now. That they've managed to push back to their second. Um, but E-Girl, look, they're sort of floating around Valley. Catfish will get Ella. So that's a demo trade. That's a significant advantage right now for them. Um, so they, they just sort of got to get in there because there's no stickies on the side of red to lock down this choke. Exactly. I think that comes again to the pyro. It makes me kind of question if it is the play or not. Having your demo super aggressive is good at times, but if you don't have any damage to, to back him up or, or stop players jumping onto him, uh, if the pyro's not there, it's, it's just, there's no point. Skaz getting on the high ground, shooting some spam. Does manage to pick up the demo again. Yeah, it's 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 pretty um, pretty unfortunate to have the. Oh, but we've got a bit a little bit of a back cap 
going on here. Three people, oh no, a scout and a soldier capping. And uh, the question is out, can Centaur and Triss make it to their last and, <laughs> and, and sort of get the job done? It looks like it... <laughs> um, we, we've got um, Vernixia, yeah, she's just sort of like firing a few. There's not really too much to make of this other than that both teams are now fully charged with Uber. So we're going to um, hopefully be seeing this soon. But yeah, they, they, they're going to try to get a pick first. Bird will get a flare onto Abo, which is um, great to see. There's, the, a sentry is up. Triss is going to be firing some rockets and trying to get that one down. But um, yeah, still pretty slow stuff. Yeah, no, I think the, the engine is definitely the play here. Wigan does manage to pick up Vinixi with the sniper. Like we were talking about earlier, these really defensive these really defensive players, these classes coming out, I think it's definitely the play. Avo does come up on spy, looks around, switches to sniper. Yeah, look yeah. at this. They're just they're just denying them from walking into lobby. This is the issue with with Sunshine when you have these really defensive classes, even Ubers, no one really wants to trade because they know it's gonna go poorly for them if they lose a player earlier. Absolutely, man. You know, it's... Uh, uh, and even having a player advantage, like, the, you'll find teams usually want to try get that... They, they really want to, like, seal that deal because if they botch the push, then they're just going to be back onto their second or mid or, like, worst case, they'll be rolled back to their last. So it's, it's you know, it, it's really hard. We do have a center coming up on the spy right now. So, and he gets snazzy. Huge so that pick is from one. Oh, picks up another one on Wigan. Avo takes down Ella. Centa gets a third backstab. Jumps onto the point. Decloaks getting really, really good cap time. Where are the players? And the round goes Eagle. Absolutely huge from Centa there. Coming up with three backstabs in a row. Centa, he's got to be feeling good after that. He definitely just won his team the whole round. Broke them out of that stalemate. Um... You know, and, and I think that's 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 what you need to do when it, when it gets so slow like that. You you need to like just change it up and do something unexpected. Now on this mid, we've got sort of a bit of a standard, more more conventional play. You, you've got soldiers sort of just like going for bombs here. Bird is going to get once again a, lo a lovely flare. Oh my! Oh my that was God. filthy. What? The, that was <laughs> filthy. And I guess look, that's that's why you're playing pyro. Hey, not many people can pull it off in sixes. That's the reason why players dropping left, right, and center for Salt Free Gaming manages to pick up another flare. Avo it's does snazzy. finally take her down, but I mean, two two players left for blue. Avo seems like he's looking around. I oh, it's just air shot. Avo's walking up. Oh, that's a bit grim. Yeah, that's that would a bit be, grim. Oh, a bit of a choke there. I would have. I couldn't have done any better myself. But, <laughs> you know, uh, after a mid like that with some crazy plays by the pirate, a reflect and then an air flare, like, oh my god, like, that, that, that was, I've never seen a pyro do that in sixes before. Um, you know, now Salt Free, of course, they're going to be getting pushed back to their last once again. Uh, Wigan's going to be trying to sort of hold them off a little bit, but... It's, it's not going to be much they can do, you know, with Ego coming through with 100% or like 70% add. They're, they're about to trade right now, but I think they're sort of making Salt Free fight for it and drop a few players. Triss is going to take down Skaz and Avo, and, the, the, you know, all players are just going to be falling on the side of Salt Free Gaming. They're playing point, and that's another round to Ego. Yeah, really, really beautiful push from Ego Mafia there. They walked in, got really good positioning. There was nothing that uh, Salt Free could actually do. Once they were in there, they had the high ground doing so much damage and used their Uber so late. By the time they did, they were already on top of the point. You know, Jake, I think that Eagles really starting to find their footing in this match, you know. They're, they're, they're really able to utilize that pyro, and I think it's throwing Salt Free Gaming off of their own game. Um, <laughs> absolutely, you know, absolutely. Yeah, it, 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 it's really, really tricky stuff to be um, faced with when you've got a pyro that good on the other team. But on this mid, again, Bird is going to be getting a lovely flare onto Skaz. Um, Salt Free are just sort of collapsing it. Zildjian's going to be getting in onto Ala, trying to get that demo pick, but it's not really going to happen. And um, might pick up a scout here. Yep, he manages to pick up, pick up Von. But look at this. He actually might be able to stay in the fight here and sort of win this one for his team. Oh, Zildjian been doing so much damage. Absolutely huge med mid from Zildjian. Does finally go down, but by now it's too late. The blue reinforcements are coming for Uberad for blue. They look like they're going to be able to take this one. Very glad for Zildjian too. Manages to get his land highlight clip. Unfortunately, it wasn't the, wasn't the kill on the direct, but does still get the crater. I think we'll put it in the movie for sure. I, I think sometimes the crater is more satisfying. It's, but when you like 
drop him down and they just like their body just like slams the floor. I think <laughs> yeah, it can yeah. like it, it, it's a little bit more of a money shot sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that snazzy just drops the center. Oh my Again, God. center like we were talking about in the pre pre-game interview uh, when we were talking in pre-game these off classes that center is able to bring to the table doing so much work for them. And look, blue just wipes. My God, look at this. Well, Ella's going to be trying to, you know, just take care of the um, team. Not trying to, very successfully taking care of Zildjian that was trying to sort of, you know, flip it around a little bit. Yeah. Um, and now we've got Eagle running back through. They're capping the point. Um, look, it looks like Soul Free want to contest this or just sort of peek their heads in despite the um, loss of ad. But now, now they're back to their second. If and they're going to be, um, yeah. Yeah, if you ask me, peeking your head in is not what you want to be doing right now. They know Centaur's on this sniper, has a soldier to support him. The scout does put a lot of pressure on him. Skaz picking up two, soldiers coming up huge. Skaz picking up a third one, and look how many players are done for red. They should be able to hold this maybe if they play this passively, instead deciding to just walk out of mid, keep the uber ad, and, and hopefully fight once they've got players up. They do have forward spawns, so if they get spawns early enough, if Catfish doesn't actually block it off, it looks like it, that um, peaking there from uh, Salt Freak paid off for the minute, but now uh, they, they tried to sort of wrap him around the flank and it hasn't really worked out. Bird is going to be absolutely torching both of those scouts, but will eventually be going down. We got Scads rolling out and, um, you know, w Wigan and just, um, yeah, they're, they're just going to be sitting in last here. And it looks like E-Girl are ready to go in with 100% Uber ad. The question is, are they going to try to go straight in or I don't know? Yeah, I think it's been working really well from them going in top right and just walking in really far. They haven't been contested that much. Wigan is on the heavy, however, fully revved up. Brass Beast, full buff. He's going to need to go down straight away and they're going to have to pump a lot of damage into him. It's possible that they do struggle though with the pyro without being able to do that spam damage, but I don't know. I haven't really got uh, any negatives to say about the bird pyro this far. Oh, Ella's getting pretty close to those stickies there. Oh, but Catfish just gets it at just the wrong time. And their Uber is out on the side of E-Girl once again. Ella's going to be taking down Wigan on the heavy, sort of just blocking off the spawn here. Catfish will fall to centre, and it's going to be another round for E-Girl. Really great conversions here. Yeah, it seems like they're just getting so much time on the point and getting so much cap time that by the time the Uber's over, they've been pressuring this point the entire time. The cap's almost ready to go. Blue tries to re-aggress, but it's too late by that point. Yeah, it's... I, I don't know. That I feel like Salt Free, there's, there's been at least like three or four points here where they've like almost got in the round or like completely wiped them and managed to do something with it. But they sort of like maybe got a bit too greedy and just messed up. Anyways, here's, here's the next mid. So Centaur will be taking down Skaz. There's a few players that have fallen on Salt Free. Abo and Skaz down, so the player advantage is on the side of Ego. But Bird is down, so that Pyro is looking to be quite crucial for him. Doesn't really matter. Vinixi going to be finishing the job. And um, yeah, Ego really, really looking strong right now. Yeah, I know we've talked a lot about the pyro and the soldiers for for Ego and Mafia, but Vinixi's been doing such a good job this game on the on the combo scout, picking up so many kills. And look at this, they're ready to push last again for Uberad. They come up with the off classes, they have the sniper. Hopefully, some kind of hero shot from Wigan can can make a kind of difference. But with the way these last pushes have been going, it does not inspire confidence. Yeah, it's, I, I don't know, they're going to need to pull a rabbit out of their hat for to sort of win this one. Um, I, I, I don't know, you, you know, you got Ego coming in right now just bulldozing forward. Look at this from Ella, just absolutely decimating the entire team. And the rounds have gotten shorter and shorter as this match has gone on, Jake. Yeah, this momentum's getting crazy, I think, uh, unless... Yeah, there's still five minutes left. It's it's not looking too good for Salt Free Gaming. This is not the LAN experience they wanted, you know. Snazzy, one of the weakest mentals in Ozfort. I mean, he's probably close to tears at this point. It is, uh, it's very sad what's happening. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I, I was expecting a little bit more of a flight from Salt Free, but I, I think they're just, um, you know, again, I do apologize for commentating on this pyro so much, but I think that's has just what's like thrown them off their game so much. And um, also, v Vinixi, like, we haven't said enough. She's been playing so well to, um, you know, just do all that. But look at this. Soul Free have managed to claw back a mid-fight here. So we might finally see a conversion. Zildjian's going to be getting in on the Medic, but the Pyro is there. He just barely gets the last shot on. And the, the Medic and Pyro are going to be going out safe and sound. 
Yeah, I think uh, when when the pyre is that close, you're trying to sneak rockets past. It's it's just not going to happen. Of course, cast a curse when you start talking <laughs> about a team doing really well, they lose the mid. But uh, both teams coming up, even Ubers now. I am actually really interested to see what a uh, a last defense looks like for Eagle Mafia. I haven't managed to see one so far. Demo gets traded for both teams. Surely they don't they don't opt to do anything with this. Triss is on the sniper, known of course for being a, a, a really good spy, but the sniper is definitely something to fear. Yeah, and for, furthermore, on um, you know what what they're gonna do, I I, I think it's gonna be almost to their advantage on defense because the Pyro has been working for them offensively, but I think defense in a in a game like Sixes where you've got the format of Uber and so much like tunnel pushing and, and just being able to block those projectiles, I think that will work out better in their yeah. favor. Especially when they're doing these kind of forward holds like this. They're trying to get position in lobby and if any Uber from, from lobby or or from right side, if they hold close and these Ubers are popped out, Bird's just going to deny the whole thing. Absolutely, man. And, you know, we just got to wait and see what happens. It appears Soul Free had to sort of step out of lobby. So this might give E-Girls a chance to sort of go out and um, re retake the point. Sunshine is pretty hard to push out of because you've got those roller shuttles and the Uber exchange does come out. Never mind all of that other stuff I was saying. You've got some, a bit of point time here. Soul Free looking quite strong, but the players are pretty weak and a nice reflect from Bird onto Avo. Once again, just absolutely stunning stuff. Zildjian's going to go try in and clean up the rest, but it's not going to be enough. And now all of the players on Soul Free are falling. Centaur just cleaning up the remaining oh players. My. And he's on a five kill streak left. Ladies and gentlemen, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, absolutely insane stuff from Sentai. Really, really well done by them. I was getting a bit worried, but they get, came back to the point so quickly. And when all that damage was done, Sentai was just able to waddle around to clean it up. That was really, really well played by him. Oh, man, it was th th that, that was amazing to watch. You know, when, when you're on a last point like that and it's so chaotic and you're able to have these players that can compose themselves and just sort of keep calm and, you know, focus on the point, but also focus on getting people away from the point and just eliminating your targets. And they they played that so well, Jake. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of that comes from, from practice. Center has played with these people a lot in the past. You know, pugs, officials, scrims, different teams, things like that. Knowing how, how the people on the team play, being able to play with them off their damage, off their calls, makes such a big difference. Absolutely, man. We're going to see Ella getting nice and deep in on, um, on their porch. But, whoa, a bit of a... Flank, it seems, from uh, Catfish and Skaz. Now, E-Girls just fell out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Centaur's stepping up on Sniper. He's feeling himself now, looking for those looking for those land clips. Does get pressured by the demo, pushed out. I mean, full uber advantage to Salt Free, but with two minutes on the clock, you know, how much can they really get done? I, I think at this point, you're sort of playing for morale here, Jake, just to see, you know... What, what, what you can really make of it. If you could convert a couple of rounds here, that's just such good morale for your team and it, it helps take a better mindset into the next game. But with, with that in mind, they're going to be opting for a bit of a valley push here right now. Catfish, I'm, I'm keen to... Oh, but Bird with the double projectile rocket reflect continues to just amaze me. I... I, I you would be heartbroken if you were soul free right now, Jake. Absolutely, and that's what we're talking about. With these close holds that they're doing, they're just not able to get through these chokes. You know, you spam as you walk through the choke, but if you can't actually get through to start with, what are you going to do? Oh, I, I don't think there is anything you can do. Vaughn's going to be finding Snazzy here, and oh, oh Snazzy, that oh, that close. was a little bit that too, was close. too close. That was a little bit too close there, but she will manage to pick him off. And um, she's going to be sort of rolling through here. All the players on the side of Eagle are here. Zildjian appears to be behind. Skaz is on the last point. This might be a back cap. No, Triss and Vaughn are going to be taking him down. And, you know, 40 seconds on the clock. I think it's more than safe to call the game right now. Yeah, absolutely. I think really well, just overall so, so well done from Ego Mafia. I doubted the Pyro pick at first, but I think they've really done a good job with it, you know, playing these really tight play styles, close to chokes, they're just stuffing Ubers, uh, yeah, really, really well done by them. Yeah, and, and especially, you know, with having Dubious as well, yeah, it's it's 16 seconds on the clock, Salt Free do manage to get that um, that point, but that that's that's the game, you know, really, really good stuff considering they had to um, sub a player in. 
Yeah, yeah, I think there should be a, a huge appreciation for, for Ella here, doing a really, really good job subbing in, really stepping up when the team uh, needed them. Absolutely, man. And look, that is going to be game right there. E-Girl taking it. And wow. Yep. All right, so we're going to throw over to the desk uh, briefly uh, in just a moment, getting some players for some interviews. And um, we're going to have a quick chat on the desk, discuss how the game went. We'll catch you soon. Uh, I am here with, uh, we've got two players, we've got Skaz and Avo from Salt Free Gaming. In the middle we have Senta, we have Woxie and Vinixie. Guys, after that game, I want to talk to Salt Free first. Uh, were you guys struggling the sound there? No, not really. It was, yeah, very easy frag every time, easy to clean up. Far as easy class at the end of the day, um, you right click, it's fully just guessing really when you get that reflect. So um, we weren't upset at all. Not one bit, and um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't affect us, man. We don't care. Yeah, snazzy, right? It it it's kind of well known. Very weak mental. Uh, was he struggling <laughs> towards the end there? Uh, you know, keeping his composure, keeping cool. Yes, I mean snazzy is known to be inconsistent, to put it politely. Mm. Um, I mean, he's off for a dart right now. You oh, know? like I he mean, needs a break. <laughs> Decompress, de decompress. This current moment, yeah. yeah. Surprised we didn't have to pause halfway through. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause cool, cool. I'm kind of. I mean, he'll go for a dart, come back, and be like, "Yeah, nah, another one." <laughs> Bad stick. Uh, heard rumors about um, demo viewing the night before. Were you guys staying up late? We actually did not do a single before LAN, so I'm very proud of our team. So your, your core player in uh, um, Dubious wasn't able to come. Max managed to step up, uh, you know, personal differences, but um, you know, did, did Max manage to fill the boots that, that Dubious had left, you know, the hole in the team? I guess so, he was calling a bit, so yeah, the call was actually pretty helpful, like we needed that, because, yeah, hello, can you hear? <laughs> And uh, in the pregame center, we were talking as well a lot about off classing. We saw a really big spy, 3k on last, a bit of sniping, that kind of thing. Were we going into the game expecting the off classing? Yeah, I was actually going to perma snipe, but then I realized we like had winning chances, so then I decided to just do it for the perma sense. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, anyway, thank you guys very much for the game. Once again, a huge shout out to marketplace.tf, the best place to trade. Uh, Steam items, TF2 items, Dota 2 items. Salt Freeze hats were funded by, well, not officially. We bought them from marketplace.tf. Yeah, we're, we're all, we're all color-coded, got the killer got the paints, yeah. got Yeah. Vouching for them. Yeah. We had an unusual ad the whole game, but it didn't really matter. Also, massive shout out to GIC, Genesis Internet Cap. Uh, they've been fantastic host the whole first day of the event supporting us since 2019 we are uh, we really appreciate their ongoing support and their uh, continued help uh, thank you very much we're going to throw back over and uh, we'll be having the next game shortly